Um, and we got um, Yunel and uh, LRA start. Yunel's the Bowser. Got a Wolf versus Bowser right yeah. now. Yeah, and um, Yunel is usually, um, you know, Piranha Plant, Wario player, right? But um, now he's playing uh, Bowser. He wants a new main, and he wants to play a heavy, so why not pick the best heavy in the game? Yeah, it's not a, not a bad uh, choice at all. Yeah. And um, I'm pretty sure LRA Start is from Jersey, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, come out to a couple of New York events already, and already off to a quick start. This is a fast game so far. You know, not really getting the chance to do much, but going to be snatching LRA's start real quick. Yeah, and you know, a lot of people say this matchup is um, almost in Bowser's favor because uh, they do a lot of the same things, but Bowser has is heavier and has bigger hitboxes than Wolf. So it can be a little tough for Wolf, uh, especially off stage. But right now, LRA start is showing how like Wolf's agility and yeah. like big hitboxes could be used as advantage. Yeah, he's been so ready for most of Munel's disadvantage options. Yeah, Munel hasn't really been getting something started, but we got the got his command grab and that border. That border like, stretches across consonant, consonants and it's like very <laughs> disgusting. It's 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 a crazy hitbox. That forward air is more of a sword fair than like Lucina's. Yeah, um, yeah, has a bigger sword than Roy. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> But yeah, you know, Muno's still pretty much in the game. Even though, even though he's at 185, you know, I feel like if he could take a little bit more percent, and you know what? That didn't happen. Nope. <laughs> nope. Back to zero. And LRA starts still in the driver's seat right now. Mm -hmm. Muno's That's not just not been able to get anything started, even with the up he out of shield. He's been getting grabs, but honestly, not a whole lot else. Yeah, and, and I feel like LRA's been catching um, Munel stuck in his shield a lot, and he's also been caught, getting caught with like a bunch of air-to-airs, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of Nairs come out of shield from LRA start that Munel's been getting clipped by. And um, also, I, at the light, I feel like he got hit by like 8,000 back at this point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, once again, uh, been uh, jumping in from ledge quite a bit, and another fast game one. Yeah, and I feel like... Um, just Munel's ledge options were like a, a little bit too obvious, right? Uh, mm -hmm. believe he, I, I believe at least two of these stocks were taken by back air at the ledge, right? Yeah. Just ledge hop from the ledge. And um, yeah, you know, you have to mix up a little bit because I know that Bowser doesn't have the best, best ledge roll, big body, slow uh, ledge roll. But, you know, sometimes take the damage a little bit and, you know, just live another day. Mm -hmm. We're going small battlefield counter pick. Yeah, this is, good. this is good. I feel like this is a good stage, you know. A little bit smaller for Bowser. Can probably get his offense initiated a little bit faster. But that could also be a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to land with Nair again. LRA ready. Yeah, and like, it, it, like Munel is like having a very hard time getting out of his shield. But one thing that he has a high success rate on is his command grabs. I oh, yeah. <laughs> Gonna jump? No, nope, normal get up. Mm -hmm. Lori was still ready for it. Yeah, and you know, um, conditioning Munel to just not jump and read that with the grab. Because mm -hmm. yeah, I think uh, looking back at the replays, uh, I think it was all three stocks last game. Uh, back air catching jump from ledge. Hello, did you see that interaction? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Munel down smash because all of Bowser's attacks have super armor and went through that laser. But um, you know, this is the chance. You know, take the first stock, right? This is like pretty close. Yeah, if you know, I can get some momentum in his favor, uh, this could be a very different game. Yeah, I feel like emotional advantage is like really important, especially against character like Wolf. You yeah. know, I feel like I should just stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> what a ledge interaction again. LRA taking the first stock. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, and there we go. Yeah, and now, um, you know, that's another thing. We haven't really seen Munel at the ledge that much in this matchup. And, you know, one of the first interactions we see, you know, got a good call and is trying to get up with the forward token. Now he's in the game pretty much even. Yeah. Yeah, 44%. I feel like this, you know, I feel like this, you know, being at this stock, like being pretty much even, I feel like this is like a good, good space for Munel right now, right? Get, get yourself a little bit of confidence. You're not down a stock. You're not getting hit by back ears. And like, honestly, he's one read away from probably being in the lead. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, I can't. Uh, punishing Wolf's F-Smash is... You don't. You mm. just don't. Yeah, you just leave it alone. 
And I'm liking how Munel is waiting at the ledge now, right? Elray start putting with back here so many times. Now he's pausing a little bit at ledge, not immediately ledge jumping. Mixing up his options. Yeah, now we see the roll on, drop shield, but you know he he lived another day and he's not heavy boy. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, that command grab. Um, yeah, and forward tilt, okay, not getting it. Good angle by LRA start. There we go, Munel finally in the lead. Yeah, read that jump with the back air. Um, giving LRA start a taste of his own medicine, you know. Always getting air to air constantly <laughs> throughout the set, and right right now Munel is um, taking it to the bank. There we go. I think that was a shield poke, actually. The Caught the uh, the bottom left of the shield. Yeah, it was either shield poke. If you want to up, you had a shield. Either way, you got smoke. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but this is very good for Munel. Munel's actually in the lead right now. And he's these command grabs, man, right? I, I feel like, you know, Munel's been hitting Elroy Start now with a lot of these straight hits. And Elroy Start is just like, I don't want to get hit out there anymore. I don't want to get hit. I need to, <laughs> I need to stop this. And now he's like turtling up a shield. Yeah, and this could be actually one read away from Munel's game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's playing very solid right now, right? He's actually not forcing the offense. He's letting LRA start come to him. Yeah. And we're getting all these up B punishes. Yeah, just like you said there, uh, LRA start uh, knocked on Munel's shield with the angled forward tilt. And nice. Not going to take it quite yet, though. Yeah, that up tilt's actually, like, insanely disjointed. It's when, when you talk about Bowser being a sword character, like, that's probably the best sword up tilt in the game with yeah. some, like, range-wise, range, range -wise, but, um... It's it's gross. Yeah, but, you know, you know, taking that game, and, like, honestly, being down like that and almost, like, adjusting his, ga his game plan, right? Not jumping a lot from ledge. He calmed it down a little bit, slowed it down, played his own pace. Didn't let LRA start overwhelming him with the offense, and he, like, turtled up, let him come to him, and he got a lot of punishes. Mm-hmm. So, looks like we're going to go to PS2. The similar stage, just like more space. So, I, I definitely do agree. Right? We do, you know, we did talk about the, uh, you know, Bowser needing less space. And I feel like the more space would be good for LRA starting the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going to give LRA a bit more room uh, to maybe slow down the pace himself. Start to use the blaster a little more, a little bit more. Yeah, you need to use the gun sometimes, you know? Like, you have a, you have a big... Dinosaur coming out. You just use the gun. Yeah, use the gun. Leave it alone. Don't try to don't try to fight him. <laughs> it's a good button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, off to a quick start. You know, using a little bit more of that gun. Yeah, and great pace to come from Mino, right? Didn't swing. Held shield a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that yeah, was a little bit suspect. Yeah, um, maybe a little bit ill-advised down air. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, down arrow to shield from you know, you know, let's see if he could, you know, bring this back like he did in game two. Yeah, LRA did take the first stock in game two, but uh. yeah, right now, yeah, LRA start right now, yeah, he's he's definitely waiting a little bit more. He's just like, okay, <laughs> ran some a bunch in game two, not gonna let this happen again. Yeah, that shouldn't have been it, but a yeah, great DI. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and you, in go. that situation, you can't cross up forward air. Like, you're going to get command grab every single time. Frame mm -hmm. six out of shield and on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you didn't cross up, you're you're getting uh, up Eden. Yeah, 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 you're getting smoke. Yeah. And let's see if Yunel can get some damage on. Because right now, if, you know, LRA could take this stock. He's going to be in a very good position. Now kind of trying to fight his way out of the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in good patience. He's, he wasn't trying to swing his way out, right? I feel like oh, yeah. that LRA star has been calling out a lot of those swingy situations out of the corner. He kind of just chilled out for a second. Doing that up smash, getting punished. Another command grab, right? And he's, you know, he's just turtling up in shield right now. Yeah, nice. yeah. Another I I, yo, that was it. That was I, it. He, he had the read. He did. LRA with a stock lead, but 132%. Yeah, and LRA's stacking it up right now. Yeah, yeah, getting 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 himself some space, right? Oh, but that down that's not safe, my guy. Nope. Uh, let's see if we get this two frame. Yeah, and here we go. Even game. Um, 
Yeah, and let's see if we're gonna see a little bit more gun from Ellery start right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, if Munel's uh, chill to kind of sit and shield a bit more, gives LRA plenty of room to Back use gun. Here. Munel not jumping. Elrus are looking for that jump read. Something he's been doing a good job at this whole game. And ooh, that. Ooh, we got a couple of tech reads and that up ooh. smash. That's it. Oh, that's oh. it. Okay, no, 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 no. That down smash not taking it. A little premature pop off from Munel. Yeah, oh. yeah. There you go. And Munel, Munel bringing that back. I'm not gonna lie. That game one looked kind of like one sided, and I feel like the big thing was just for him to slow down the pace of that set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, game game one looked grim, but Munel with some great adaptations, uh, bringing it back. Yeah, um, yeah, man, that was, that was, uh, that was, a, that was a spicy set. It 